In this video, I am going to show you how to configure HP OfficeJet 3620 Pro on ePrint. For that, first you have to create account on ePrint. This is the ePrint website. You have to create account on this first. Second, uh, you will have to you will require a printer that comes with web-based printing support like OfficeJet 3620 Pro. The details uh, are mentioned in printer feature where you can find that uh, find a feature like web. That means this this printer will work with ePrint. After creating account, click on sign in. Enter your email ID and password. Now after login you will see this page where you have to click on add printer. Your printer must be connected to a LAN network which has an internet connection. In this box you have to type the ePrint code which you can find uh, inside the printer. I am going to use the web access panel of this printer which is also called as EWS. You have to go in web service section, you have to go on print info pages and you have to uh, click on print info pages where the printer will give you a sheet of ePrint configuration it will has a code also that you will that you will have to add on ePrint website the printout uh, will take some time so you will get uh, this kind of page where you can find a uh, ePrint uh, website URL and a code that you have to type on the ePrint website to add the printer. Once uh, after adding the code, you can see you will get uh, some additional option to customize the printer. Click on next. This is the ePrint email address which you can customize. By default, uh, every printer has a specific code. You can add anything here. Now, once the ID is available, click on save. The printer is now added here. Now these are some additional customization options. Now these are the additional options. options here. You can configure the print permission. Once it is selected on everyone, anyone who knows the printer's email address can print through it. While you can simply uh, select allowed sender only, where you can add email IDs, and those those only will be allowed to print. You can see you you have to add email ID here. This is more safer option to keep the printer secure from uh, anonymous access. Now the second section here is print option where you can configure the page size. The last one is print services where you can simply turn on and off Google Cloud, uh, Cloud, Google Cloud print option. Once you are done with all configuration click on save. Now the printer is added here, you can see the printer is available and it also gives you a small log information of recent print jobs. Now we will add the same printer on a tablet. For that first uh, go in Google Play. Install the ePrint application. Now once it is installed, click on HP ePrint. You have to activate this application. Tap on activate now. Type the email address which you have which you are using on ePrint. Click on activate. The application will send a code in your email ID which you have to tap uh, on this back again. You have to go and check your email first. 
Now, once the email is received in your inbox, you have to type the activation code uh, in your portable device, which uh, which is on the top side. Tap on the activate uh, button back again, and you can see the app is now configured. Now you can use this tablet. Uh, now I can use this tablet uh, to print uh, different files and web page. Tap on the done button. The printer is available on the top side. You can see there are photos, web, and file option available. This is the web uh, web uh, web page option. Where I'm going to print a test web page and we'll see, see the output. So this is a web page and we'll print this. When you tap on it, you get a short preview here. And you can go in the settings and you can also change the output you want. For example, you can want you can change the copy, number of copy you want. You can change the uh, mode here where, where you want color or grayscale. You can change the paper size. Under more option, you can modify the quality, paper type, and page range. Like uh, how much page you want to print. So I'm going to page the first page only. Uh, you can add the number of pages from here. Once done, this is a print uh, button lies at the bottom side. Tap on it. And about uh, the email ID, you can find that below uh, below the printer model. This might take some time because here we are printing through uh, email ID. So in this way you can use a number of different devices, you can use your tablet or smartphone to send a print directly on your printer. This is uh, the web page quality. So in this see. way through simple process you can configure e-print on uh, any HP printer which has a web based printing That's support. For more review, tutorial, news and updates on latest technology, visit techarena.in. Thank you. Have a nice day.